next leg in our journey took us south, down to the British Virgin Islands. Thanks to the Bermuda Triangle, our electronics cut out for half a day before we got them fixed. At least we didn't have it as bad as the other boat in sight, which had the crew down below fixing a water leak. Fortunately, that was the worst of it, and we settled in for a fast but bumpy ride. <laughs> just got into the BBIs today. We were uh, pulling in, got into calm water, so we tried to turn our generator on to make some water. And raw water flow alarm. Come in, try to anchor so we can clear in the country. Anchor sensor is not working to count how much chain is going down. So instead we've decided to uh, grab a mooring and I have been hard at work this afternoon and I have fixed both problems. So maybe I am getting the hang of this boat thing. A can't miss stop for us was up at Anagata. We docked the dinghy and set out to enjoy a day at Cowrec Beach and then a delicious lobster dinner at the Wonky Dog. After leaving Anagata, we had an awesome sail with our screecher down to Virgin Gorda, where we couldn't wait to go visit the baths and then continue over to snorkel the wreck of the Rhone.
We're here on a live, a beautiful Trade Winds catamaran, crewed by our friends Gnome and Delete, and we are about to go diving. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. Our last adventure in the BVI's brought us to Nanny Key Marina. On our way in, we ran into a friend whose owners we'd met in Canada. Our primary reason for being here was to do a haul out and some more of the never-ending boat work. 